You ever finish a farming event and just can't sell your drops because there's no buy offers available? That's what I'm going to talk about today. Interesting, I know. Having too many items to easily sell. Terrible, isn't it? Very video worthy. But hang on. If there's not enough buy offers, then surely you can just create buy offers for quite literally any price and lazy people are just going to sell you it for any price. Right? Yes, actually, that's exactly what they'll do, and I'd know because I've been doing it for the past few days, and this is an easy way to make money, cause inflation, and undercut people's profits at the end of these events. Essentially, at the end of an event, you can expect to see millions of the same item flooding the market all at the same time, which will eat up almost every single buy offer at the time, and if you get lucky enough to have two of the same events in a row, then you can basically guarantee that every single buy offer will be gone. So how do you work this into money making? It's simple. Find out the NPC sell price of the farming items. For this example, I'll be using pumpkins, which have an NPC sell price of 4 coins each. Then, set as many buy offers as you can for some price below 4 coins. Here, I set a bunch of them 71,680 at a time for 2 coins each, meaning when they are all filled, I would have doubled my coins. After setting all of these up, I went to sleep for the night. I mean, not really, this is all recorded on the same day, and I set these offers up yesterday when I wasn't recording, and then set up more for that shot you just saw, but that's not important. The following morning, almost all of my buy offers had been filled, and I went on to my next step, which needs a personal compactor. It doesn't matter which personal compactor you have, you just need to have one. If you didn't already know, crafting the enchanted form of an item and then selling it to an NPC is worth the same as 160 of the original item or the same amount as it costs to craft. So you just have to spam click your buy offers, turning them into enchanted items and then selling them in sets to NPCs and you've just doubled your coins by setting up a few buy offers and going to sleep. To skip out the middleman entirely, you can just find out the sell price of enchanted items like enchanted carrots or pumpkins and create buy offers under the NPC price of those two and just sell those on directly, especially seeing as the sweatiest farmers would be using personal compactors and sets together for leaderboard positions. This also means that if you just insta sell all of your items after farming, then you're getting ripped off, and you can be doubling your own coins by compacting down your own items and just selling them to NPCs. This doesn't work with wheat because wheat is genuinely expensive, but everything else, just compact it and throw it at an NPC to get some extra coins. If you want to make faster money, check the upcoming event and pick the most popular event that people might enter, which is usually pumpkin, melon, or carrot, and create less aggressive buy offers in the hour leading up to the event, such as 3.2 coins each for pumpkins that are usually worth 4 coins to guarantee your offers all fill up, but you also still make profit. Smarter people may also recognize events like the mining month cause a huge influx of items like andestone and cobblestone and their enchanted forms that go well under NPC sell price normally, so just setting up those buy offers whilst playing normally or doing something completely different is just free money for you. So yeah, long story short, make profit from other people's laziness. I am not evil, I promise. That's bloody mental, innit? 